In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the timeline view for an email card. So as you see over here, this is a customer service hub application. I'm in the cases form. I've opened one of the record uh, for the case. And here under timeline view, I can see various components. So how do we read this is like the first one is a note with this icon. Second is an email. Third is a note and fourth is an email as well. OK, now, if you see closely look at this email component, what it shows is it shows you this person icon. Uh, it shows you the uh, the context like it's an email from someone. OK, it has some button like reply, reply to all forward, OK, open card uh, and also some text from the email like the subject line and the body. And there is a status item over here, which is which says closed and there some time uh, uh, date time component and if you expand this you can actually see more content of the email okay so this is how this timeline component is composed of now what if i want to make a change to this so if i want to say that okay uh, i don't want to show you the status okay or maybe i want to uh, disable some of the buttons okay or maybe i want to change the order of this representation how do i go ahead and do that so for that what you need to do is first identify what uh, form it is okay so this is for case for interactive experience form uh, uh maybe i'll just show you in my form so i've created a custom form so this is g case for interactive experience now this uh, change has nothing to do with a specific form for a case but then we will be editing not this form but we'll be editing the uh, the form of uh, like if you see over here, this is again a note entity, okay, which is in an expanded state and it again shows you uh, various components over here, right? Uh, now, this is a different form, okay? This is a customized form. This is the by default form, case for interactive experience. I'll show you with with both, both the items, okay? Now, this is the timeline view. Now, let's do one thing. What we can do is first go to make.powerapps.com and go into the case table, okay? Uh, and then go into the forms and then uh, select whatever forms you have, you know, like in my case, that is G case for interactive experience. You might have case for interactive experience or any other form which uh, triggers that uh, form edit process. Now I've already opened case for interactive experience uh, form. Uh, now here, uh, if you select the timeline view and under activities, you will see something called as email okay now if i click on email then there are a lot of things happening within this uh, section okay so i'll just show you yeah yeah so it says email control is enabled create directly from timeline that is also ticked create email using the default form open email using the default form and then there is something called as configure form it's an email card okay now here there are select and order commands okay there is a reply to all there is a reply there is forward there is open record there is delete draft email okay so take for example if you do not want to show reply to all or maybe reply okay you can unselect those also let me click on this email card okay now here this interface comes in which will tell you what to uh, how to represent the email card okay so you need to select one of the form from here okay email card email card form or you can create your own uh, email card form okay which i have already created over here but i'm going to use the default one so this is the email card now email card how does it what does it shows you is like it is like kind of one is to one representation of uh, here you know if you see this part okay so let me open it side by side if possible Not this one yeah <clears throat> so if i if you see this timeline view I hope this is the correct one. Yes, I think so. 
Uh, so if you see this timeline view on the left hand side, this is like one is to one representation. So if you see GU, this relates to this, then uh, the header component, uh, which will show you the subject line. Uh, then there is a do by component. Uh, then there is a description. Uh, and then there is, if you click on show more, then there will be body and uh, it says label completed by, label completed on, description and so on and so forth. Okay. So let me cancel this out. Let me cancel this out. And I'll say discard this changes. Okay. So what we have done is we have gone into uh, this particular form. So let me close this, close split screen and go to this form. GKs for interactive experience. Okay. Yes, so this is a GKS for interactive experience form. Uh, here, if you see, there's a timeline component. Now, this timeline component uh, here on the activity type, if I click on email, then I can open the uh, configure form email card form. So if I uh, before even selecting email card form, I'll say I don't want reply, reply to all, uh, and I'll click on done and I'll click on save and publish. Okay. And once that is saved, let's refresh this page. If you see this email component over here, uh, now let me just do a quick control F5 and see whether this is saved or not. If I go to email, I can see that reply, reply to all is turned off uh, and this is using the default email card form. Okay. Now, if you see here, you can still see reply, reply to all and forward. Okay. Now, remember this form is case for interactive experience form. Okay. Now, if I go to G case for interactive experience form. Then here you can see that under email, you don't see that reply, reply to all. So that means the form which you open it has that direct context with the timeline uh, component, okay? Now, that is first thing to remember. Second thing, you need to pick your correct form. And then once you click on configure email card form, okay? From here, you can have that one is to one correspondence, okay? So the first option is last updated, okay? 
Now, if you do not want to show this, you can say hide. But if I want to show, I can say show. Okay. Now, last updated over here, you don't see last updated, right? So I have enabled it. So once we refresh, it will come up. Uh, similarly, uh, for subject line, it says label option show. So when you say show and click on the subject, you know, so it will show you that subject line. Okay. So let me expand. This is a note. Okay. And this is an email. This is an another email. Okay. So let me maximize this. Okay. So it, it shows you uh, a forward button. It shows you the open card, open record. Uh, and it will give you, uh, if, if you expand this, it will show you the subject, uh, the body line of the email. Okay. Now, in this form, uh, if I say I want to show the subject, okay, I will say always show. Uh, and if I want to see the status tag, I will say show it. Okay. Uh, in the body, body one, body two, uh, I can say I want to show the due by date as well. Okay, so I'll just say uh, sh always show or show on expand or hide. So let me say I will show it only on expand. Okay, and the label description, the description is always show, and that's why it is showing you always. Subject line we have enabled it to show. Okay, and what are the other components? So we have this completed on completed by completed on will be shown on expand and completed by i will say always show okay now we have made all these changes i'll click on done i'll click on done over here and save and publish Now, if I come over here and if I refresh this page, then we have enabled uh, most of the components within the email card. And uh, if the changes persist, then I should be able to see all the changes immediately within this particular timeline. So what we have done, we have enabled the subject line, we have enabled the description, we have enabled completed by, uh, so those sort of fields. Uh, now, again, like it, it depends on your requirement, what all things you want to enable, what you want to disable. Uh, but there are limited functionality which you can do within the email card uh, configuration, uh, which I have demonstrated over here. Now, if you see the subject line over here, so let me open that email. So this one was the email. Okay. Now, if you see subject line has come up, description was already there. Then who modified it? Kirishupal. Okay, and status has come whether it is closed or open. Okay, so I've seen like uh, many organization wants to go remove the status. Okay, so now we have done the other way around. You can disable the status. Okay, and what happens when you expand? Okay, so if I click on expand and collapse, you know, see, this is in an expanded view. That's why I'm seeing the closed status. Okay, if I collapse it you know again i can see the see the closed status but uh, there are some information which is missing okay now what are the information which are missing so if you go to this form over here again click on email then anything which is in expanded state uh, if you see here show on expand so that's due by due by is show on expand which shows up now here you don't see uh, due by but if you expand it you know uh, you should be able to see new by now those fields are not populated in my backend and that's why it is not showing over here but then if you had that record it will show you definitely so this is how you basically uh, uh, edit your uh, uh, email card form uh, and you can turn on and turn off the uh, labels uh, or the content like subject description status etc uh, in the timeline view that's it folks thanks for watching